You better give these to Chaz. Now she's eating for two. I'm under holy orders not to eat anything fatty. And I think you'd best cancel that marathon. Only gentle exercise from now on. Cheer up, love. At least the homestead will be ship shape and ready by the time you get back. Yanni yeah, Sharon, you and guess not just magazines, but the hot and courier. Yep. And an entire supplement for racing. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy that. <laughs> Aye, and uh, there's a, a mention of uh, Gabby being charged. I mean, it's no names, obviously, but it's definitely about her. Yeah, thankfully, not for manslaughter. Oh, hello, love. Is it dinner break already? Aaron will be on at me if you're missing school. I just, um, I wanted to see you, cos... You all right, love? Are you? Oh, I'm soldiering on. Good. What is it, love? Lisa, please don't hate me. Or right, I just need, I need to tell you that it, it wasn't Gabby who spiked your drink, it was me. So why is Gabby the one that's going to end up in court? It was her idea to say she did hit. Look, I hate lying to you, and it's, it's not fair that you're blaming her. But she's stupid. Look, some bad stuff happened between us, and, and Gabby thought she'd fix it by taking the blame. Benisa's found out, and she's gone ballistic. So that's the only reason you're owning up? Because you've been found out? No, I, I wanted to tell you, but Aaron told me not to. So Aaron's in on this too? He just didn't want me to get into trouble. I don't think he thought it would be this serious. Well, of course it's serious. He would get Mum nearly died. I'd have never done it, he would have known. Known what? That slipping a drug into somebody's drink can potentially kill them? Don't get worked up, love. Now, you swear you never wanted to hurt Lisa? No, of course not. The drink wasn't meant for you, it was meant for Daz. Never mind who it was for. What you did was criminal and you should face up to it. Presenting. Sickly Lisa's splendid snack basket. I'm so wasted behind the bar. Wasn't sure he got heart problems. Yeah, well, she can survive some horse tranquilizers. I guess a few peanuts and some Wingles ales hardly gonna floor her. Well, it did last time. You know what they say. Lightning never strikes twice. Can you drop them off me, babe? No. Thank you. Uh, but would you mind sticking these up? The refurbishments are done and the flat upstairs is ready to rent. I'll tell you what, ring an estate agent, Tightwood. What will it be? I'll get these. Well, if you're sure. Uh, rewind. You just walk in the door together. Well, it looks that way, yeah. Thanks. Oh, come on, Lisa. It was a mistake. Oh. Meanwhile, I had a heart attack and her best friend is facing jail. I'll go to the police then. She's not saying that. Look, it's done with. For whatever reason, Gabby has taken the blame. It's what she wants. Now, we can deal with Liv's punishment as a family. Oh, spare me. Because the dingles are above the law. Right, I think you should go now, Liv. Hi. You've done so much to me, Lisa. I'm really sorry. Well, at least you've cleared your conscience. And you'll get away with it. Because that's what happens in this family. This is not just about her. No. It's about ridiculous dingle loyalty, covering things up when we know they're wrong. Hey, I'm on about Aaron. He's finally getting settled again. He don't need any more stress. Oh, what about my stress? What about Benice's? Oh, God, Zach. I need to rest. <laughs>